Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11, since its release a week or two ago, has not been without its problems, as we have been talking about on the channel. And we've got a good couple of known issues that Microsoft has confirmed. We've got the Windows SFC Scan Now problem, where Microsoft say they will be rolling out a fix shortly. And then we've got the problem where you cannot delete 8.63 gigabytes of temporary Windows installation files and I'll leave one or two videos linked down below in the end screen if you'd like to play catch up regarding those problems. Now it seems that some users of Western Digital NVMe SSDs are also now reporting that their systems are crashing with a blue screen of death after upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 and more importantly it's affecting the Western Digital Black SN uh, 770 range and the Western Digital Blue SN580 and the common denominator between both of those variations of the Western Digital uh, SSDs is that they don't use DRAM and in case you're unaware DRAM basically is a cache that improves um, uh, the write caching and can reduce random access times which obviously speeds up um, the read and write speeds on that SSD. Now, because they don't use DRAM, they use the system memory for caching, which is a, a process that uses the host memory buffer, HMB for short. And this is where the problem seems to be lying in that, uh, um, that host memory buffer. Now, normally um, NVMe SSDs allocate around about 64 megabytes of cache. And where the problem seems to be lying with this issue is that the HMB is allocating around about 200. And that's what's causing uh, that 200 megabytes of cache is causing the blue screens of death. Now, if you are affected by this, um, there is a workaround. Now, obviously, um, the workaround is not an official fix. And we are still waiting for Microsoft and or uh, Western Digital to roll out a firmware update or driver update or something in that regard. But if we just scroll down here, there are reports saying that this fix seems to be working. Now, it, it involves editing the registry. And if you are comfortable to do that and you have this issue, then what I'll do is I'll leave the instructions to how you can do that in the registry i'll leave this down below in the description but obviously you would open your um register editor by running reg edit you can just do that using run and then you would navigate to h key local machine system current control set control store port key now in the store port key um you would create this hmb allocation policy sub key okay if it's not present in store port key when you click on that. And then you would set the D word value of this HMB allocation policy to zero. And what that does is um, when you set that to zero, it turns HMB off. And then obviously will temporarily res hopefully resolve the issue. And, uh, um, but what I would suggest as always is obviously back up your registry before fiddling around. We've covered that quite in depth on the channel. And obviously, we are still waiting either for a fix to roll out through Windows Update or a draft firmware update that fixes this issue from Western Digital. So just putting it out there because um, this is gaining a lot of traction online and just want to let you know that there are reports of some NVMe, NVMe SSDs, uh, that's Western Digital SSDs that are causing and crashing and causing a blue screen of death after upgrading to 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.